Salwete Studentes. I hope everybody's doing well at home during this quarantine. Um, hopefully you received my email about the Myth Madness Bracket. Ho hopefully you have um, registered at Brackets Ninja and voted for your um, favorite gods and goddesses in the quarterfinals. I uh, just wanted to tell you that the quarterfinals are officially over. Uh, we've got the semis starting uh, tomorrow at 9 a.m. And I just wanted to go over some of your picks, um, some of the surprises, some of the not at all surprises, and some of the crushing defeats by these uh, major gods and goddesses. Uh, up at the top, we have Jupiter and Juno. Of course, no big surprise there, Jupiter being the goat. Um, Juno, of course, his wife, 2911. That's a little harsh, but um, I don't know. Juno, I don't think Juno deserves that, but anyway. Hercules over Mercury, no big surprise there, 2318. Um, Pluto over Achilles, interesting. Pluto being the bad guy here, 2318, all right. Um, Icarus over Apollo, uh, no big surprise there, Icarus being the kid, um, and Apollo being the uh, major god of the sun, medicine, music, just about everything uh, just about everything you can think of. Moving down the row here, Neptune over Atlas, that was a quick defeat, 338. Uh, Venus over Vulcan, very interesting. Venus, of course, was the wife of Vulcan, as you know. Um, 2714, okay. Bacchus over, uh, sorry, Orpheus over Bacchus, no big surprise there. Um, other than Bacchus was a major Olympian god, 2714 defeat. Um, sad for the god of wine. Uh, Daedalus over Tantalus, 34 7. Uh, no big surprise there since Daedalus was the mastermind behind the labyrinth and uh, wings for his son and all that stuff that he invented. Come on over here to the eastern side, quarterfinals. Uh, Vesta over Bellerophon, that was quite an upset. Uh, Vesta, of course, was uh, kind of a behind-the-scenes goddess. Um, she did have a throne on Olympus, uh, but gave it up when Dionysus became a god so they could have an even 12 thrones on Olympus and not, uh, and not 13. Um, that was kind of a surprise. Bellerophon was a you know major Greek hero, uh, defeated the Chimera and a whole bunch of other beasts at the time. Um, I think the biggest surprise today was probably Atlanta, Atalanta beating Theseus by one point. Theseus, of course, was a major, major hero. Uh, Atalanta was a also kind of a hero, but um, was uh, completely defeated by... Uh, one of her suitors who tricked her by throwing uh, golden apples in her path during a foot race. Uh, so she finally lost, but again, today she won. Um, Ceres over Acteon, no big surprise there. Um, Ceres being the goddess of grain and the mother of Persephone uh, in Greece. Um, in Latin, her name was Proserpina. Uh, Odysseus beating, whew, beating Prometheus handily, 2714. No big surprise there. Perseus, wow. Cadmus was probably had the lowest score of the entire bracket. 34-7, um, um, Perseus winning there, no big surprise. Um, Diana beating Jason, 28-13. Aeneas, the founder of Rome, 22-19 over Hector. That was uh, kind of close, three, point, three points there. Uh, and Minerva beating Mars, 25-16. Um, that's, that's an interesting... Um, pairing because Minerva, of course, was the goddess of strategic war, while Mars was the god of bloody war. So your votes have spoken. Um, if you are not um, signed up, registered for this, uh, Ninja Bracket, please, please, please um, register and vote tomorrow. We have the semifinals, and uh, I hope to see your votes online. Thank you so much. Have a great night.